So now let's go just a glimpse on the last talk, and you will have a few minutes to play with, we call it gamification, gameplay, you know, in, in virtual reality. So let's talk a little bit about creativity entrepreneurship, you know, we'll be very brief. We will skip those, but you have yesterday, you know, a taste on, on the metaverse. We have, you have seen the video, uh, the Bioinnovation Lab, Biotech Enterprise. We were trying to show you today, but it's okay, you know, you have seen them through the video. Uh, you have seen the 3D for data visualization and the supercomputing. So we will just sit down in the last 20 minutes. We have, we have, we have to be very strict on time because we, people will be from the other side of the continent, you know, waiting for us. So we have to be at 3 o'clock with them. So you will be getting a link from Farid and you will get into a fab lab. I don't know if you've heard about fab lab, fabrication lab, born in the MIT. Just look at it. It's a very nice concept, fabrication lab, atelier, you know, let's sit down and play with 3D printer and design and with a laser cutter, you know, and we can do so many things. We will show you, you know, a gameplay about it. how we can, we design the microscope, you will assemble it, okay? So, key driving forces, why we are here also, and we have another dots, you know, that uh, the organizer try to connect, you know, like we need to be creative, not only motivated, as we said yesterday, and not only ethical, you know, and responsible, but because we know by some estimates, this comes from the science career, no more than 20% of PhDs, you know, in life science, especially land tenure track faculty jobs. So most graduate program continue to groom graduate students and the market for industrial R&D jobs is declining. You know, we've seen, you know, and there is transformative, you know, um, uh, technology that now it's coming, you know, and we have to be skilled maybe, you know. So the results is an employment market where companies cannot afford to be, they have to be choosy. They cannot afford just PhD and that's it, okay? So they are mostly stop choosing scientists straight out of grad school. Is this a problem for us? Yes, but we can resolve it. We, with work, with creativity. Companies are no longer willing to hire PhDs who don't bring additional skill set to the table, okay? So they tend to hire candidates who they think would will add value to the company in addition. You can, you know, you can, you can, you can just protect yourself or maybe you can collect water if you are living in a place. If, if you combine two ideas together, you can see what, where you can go, okay? So please, let's go now. I'm sorry that I had to be very quick on this, but again, to give you some taste, you know, look at entrepreneurship, um, look at Tina Selig, look at us, BioInno, the keywords, you know, we were leading a, a European project. And now, Farid, are you with us? Yeah, I'm here. Great. So, um, I will slowly, slowly start getting to VR chats. So everyone is into VR chats. And then I will tell you how you go to the, where you need to do some gamification. So, of course, you know, we need to drive the so-called now, call it technology transfer. And, you know, people here also that are experts in this. So if you imagine yourself, you know, you are good in creativity and you landed in a place where you work for a tech transfer office or maybe yourself, you need to develop a new venture. All this starts with invention side, a disclosure where, you know, you invented something and you need really to protect it under intellectual property. And then you need to market your technology and there are two exit strategies here. You either form a new venture, you know, company if you are at high risk, high gain, you know, and if your technology is mature enough, you know, it can be very uh, uh, compelling to big companies so that you can go through licensing and relicense this. So imagine, please uh, take this into consideration because it's very important. The market needs you and the market needs people with entrepreneurial skills. So we can go through this cycle as well you know, and make it happen in life. So this started in the United States so many years ago by two people, you know, by those, the surname of two senators, you know, sitting on that committee at the United States in, in back in, in, in 40s. And they come up that with this act that they say, you know, if you get federal money, you have to protect your intellectual property, you know. So every lab in the United States, you know, they have to do it. It's an obligation. But thanks to the Bible Act, as you can see here, this is the senator uh, by his and uh, being hugged by the cancer survivor. Let's see the story that she survived because if you look up this Bible art, you know, when you visit American University, there is tech transfer office and under tech transfer office, there is something called productive, 
productivity highlights, you can see really how many patents, how many startups, how many new drugs to the market every year, and how many lives we are saving with this process. So thank you so much. Now let's go on to the last chat.